Okay, I've uh, got two uh, parts of this uh, video today because my memory card got full a little sooner than I thought it was going to. So we've, um, we've glued on our papers. Now we want to finish distressing the edges. So I'm going to do that. I have um, a Tim Holtz distressor and I have a, another kind. I have an electric one, but I just grabbed this one because it's in front of me. It's a, like a little sanding, a heart sanding disc, but it also has a little edge right here that you can use. And it's in front of me, so that's the one I'm using. So, down into this distress on our top edges as well. Can't really get them here, so that's okay though, because that's on the inside. My glue is still wet, but I'm uh, doing pretty well with not dislodging anything. It is getting on my uh, my tool though. Okay, so I'll just one more right here and here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm taking pumice stone distress ink and my applicator, and I'm going to come along the edges here and darken these edges with pumice stone. And where I roughed it up, you know, it's picking it up quite nicely. Giving some really pretty dimension to our piece. Okay. Gives a nice finished edge. And I'm not caring about how much I get on the body of my paper because I kind of want that age look anyway. takes the nice the brightness off of it and gives it a vintage look. Oh, sorry, camera fell over. <laughs> Sometimes it does that if I vibrate my table too much. Okay, and one more side. Then, I'm going to take my black soot, ink that up, and then go around the edges. This time, I'm not getting it in the middle. I only want this on the edges. This is a sort of frame for our paper pieces. Okay, and then it comes a little bit over onto the edge, and that's okay. We like that. Now, if you were doing this with a different color paper, you'd probably want to use a brown, one of the browns, to be your final frame where I'm using the black. But because I'm using gray and dirty white, then I think that black works really well. Okay, so then what you would want to do is let your pieces dry so that you can put them back together. But here's some other things that you can do as well. You can glue a key. You can use, um, to make this steampunk by putting on some gears. You can put on, let's see, kind of digging away in my little box. You can put all kinds of things on. Um, 
There's one more thing I'm looking for. I was looking for the compasses because we do have a map on here and there's you can also put like the clocks and then use your spinners on your compasses so you end up with something really cool and really fun so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on and when it dries I'm gonna put these back together and then I'll include a picture of the finished product I hope you had fun and really try these they're functional and they're fun bye